Oh, well, let me tell you. Check out my new little coffee mug also that a client gave me. Sick. It's really sick. It's, it's so sick. Anyways, for the sake of this video, I'm going to call this effect the muffle effect. I'm going to change and go down to my studio and get this video started. I'll see you, I'll see you there. So let me take you through this tutorial on how to spice up your audio and make it seem more cinematic than it really is. Now I use this pretty much all the time, very subtly, and it's something that's built into almost every single editing software. And it'll just spice up that video a tad bit more, just a tad little bit more. So to start that off, I'll show you a sample I created here with some drone footage I shot of this audio technique. And that's the final result. I'm not gonna go through, you know, all the video transitions and stuff like that, but I will show you the actual audio filter that makes the sounds and music seem muffled. And that's a huge thing. If the camera, let's say, is further away from the action, you want the sound to be a little bit more muffled. Same idea as if the camera is inside, let's say, a glass of water. Or underwater you want the sound to get muffled or the music to get muffled as if it's having a hard time going through or reaching the camera of where the camera is positioned at so we want to start off doing is searching for a filter in whatever editing program you're using I'm using Premiere Pro searching for something called low pass it may be worded a little differently if you're not on Premiere but for my sake, it's called low pass. That's what I'd search. And I can drag that onto any audio clip that I want to muffle up or sound, you know, more sort of uh, muffled-ish, that's a word. So as you can listen to this song here. Normal song, right? All right, now let's drag the low pass filter onto that. Now let's play it back again and listen to what it sounds like. So already it's muffled. It sounds as if it's maybe coming from a house that's closed up or somewhere further away. That's basically a simple way to do it. Just drag that on and let it play. Now, if you want to get a little bit more crazy, this is where keyframes come in. So let's say I want the song or the track or the audio effect to start at a lower frequency and end at a higher frequency, meaning the muffliness will either go away or it'll increase. So the way to do that is again, open up whatever audio clip you're working on you go to the effects control tab to play around with the actual filter itself so in the filter you got keyframes here we're gonna play with the one called cutoff so let's say I want the muffliness to start the way it is right here right so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna keyframe that and let it go on but I want it to get even more muffled so at this point I'm going to lower the frequency, which is going to make that sound effect more pronounced. So let's say I make, I make it 77 just for the sake of this video. Let's listen to that back. Now looking from the keyframes here, you see keyframe one starts over here. And that's the original muffliness that we set. And it ends at a lower muffliness that we set here. So essentially the audio effect will now transition to that level. Let's listen to this back. So this technique is good for transitioning. It's good for if your camera's away from something as in, as in my car shots. And it's also even good to throw that effect on your audio track that's playing when you're talking over. Because you don't want that audio to be on the exact same audio level as your voice. So that's another great use for this filter. Just slap it onto whatever music's playing in the background and it'll just make it more subtle and uh, muffled up. So that's basically it, super quick. Wanted to share that with you. Hopefully you guys start using it and it helps some of you out. If it does, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, feel free to follow me on any of my social media pages down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.